Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI Newsbite. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. France has a new president. Francois Hollande has been sworn in as president of France, becoming the first socialist leader in 17 years to occupy the Elysee Palace. Despite what you see here, the ceremony was described as low-key. It wasn't attended by any other heads of state or even the Hollande family. The new president wants to show he means business straight away. After naming his cabinet and prime minister, he's off to Berlin for talks with the German leader Angela Merkel on the Eurozone crisis. The phone hacking scandal rumbles on. Now former chief executive of News International Rebecca Brooks is being charged by police along with her husband Charlie. The couple are being charged with conspiracy to pervert the course of justice over the hacking inquiry. The charges relate to allegedly concealing documents and computers from police. Reacting to the news, the former News of the World editor and her husband said in a statement, we deplore this weak and unjust decision. Tanks on the streets. The Lebanese army has deployed in the country's second largest city as the conflict in neighbouring Syria starts to spill over the border. Troops were sent to the northern city of Tripoli after three days of violent sectarian clashes over loyalties linked to the Syrian uprising. At least five people have been killed and another 100 were wounded as numerous gun battles broke out. Now the people of Tripoli are hoping the army's arrival will help defuse a very tense situation. Waiting to blow, nervous Mexicans are keeping a watchful eye on the El Popo volcano as smouldering activity continues. Paramedics and scientists are being deployed to reassure nervous residents as ash continues to be ejected. Around 25 million people live within a 60-mile radius of the volcano. El Popo's most violent eruption in 1,200 years occurred back in 2000 when a plume of red-hot rock and ash forced the evacuation of thousands of people who live at the volcano's base. And Britney's got the X Factor. The star has been unveiled as part of the judging panel on the new season of the show's stateside version. She was accompanied by show creator Simon Cowell and fellow judges Demi Lovato and L.A. Reid. Britney and Demi replaced Nicole Scherzinger and Paula Abdul, who were dumped after last season's X Factor, along with host Steve Jones. Not surprisingly, considering she's rumoured to be bagging $15 million a year for her role, Britney said she was excited. Well, I'm so excited about this whole experience. It's going to be so much fun and so different from anything I've ever done and I'm ready to find the true star. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tv3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, even cats need their five a day. At number four, how not to fix a shelf. Other way. Thanks for that one, Stephen. Oh, did you get it in the eye? At number three, this cyclist soars into last place. At number two, in romance, persistence is key. <laughs> and number one today, the registrar marrying this couple reveals why the bride said yes. Lauren found Nick to be incredibly hard, <laughs> hard working. <laughs> Tune into FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, all of today's tech news, and Paul will be here with all of the sport. We'll see you back here at 6 right here on 3E.